Bonjour everyone, and uh, if you haven't watched the video already on John Joe Shelby, this is a little thing that will probably keep rolling out of the summer, to be honest, once these right. little headlines and links <laughs> and whatnot pop up, to give us an excuse to go for a paint and talk about football, really. Transfer news in abundance, uh -huh. now as, that, as you may have watched this. Uh, now well, that there's not, be you know, more. obviously there'll be no games over the summer, I've got the Nations League and whatnot, but no, not really happening for a couple of months. No, so, so we'll we need something to talk about. Uh, you know we'll, I mean? we, we'll not talk about every Lynx player because bloody hell, <laughs> we'll go on for days the amount of shape, but this one's actually gathering a bit of pace and I, I could see it in a way. And it is, uh, you may get pissed off. It's that, the old one it's that's a, been popped up since he left Newcastle United all one. those years ago. Andy Carroll. Andrew Carroll. Pointy and tail bastard. Bringing the boy back home. He's obviously linked, and like I say, I know he's been linked time and time again, but this one's actually got some substance to it because his contract is expiring <laughs> at West Ham this summer and he's not been offered a new deal. So, he is available for free. <sighs> Mike Ashley's favourite phrase. <laughs> Free? And what does our owner like most? Not spending money. What can he get for free? An England international striker. Who did he... Who did he Fucking ringing. Ringing in his ass. Who did he sell for 35 million that he can bring back? For free! <laughs> and he's thinking, <laughs> everyone hammers me. My <laughs> tax, but look at this. I made 35 million. And I spent zero. <laughs> <laughs> it's a perfect business module that he can put in his CV. Ashley will add that. Okay. Sold in oh, 2010. Oh, but Einstein, eat your heart Resigned out. Resigned here. <laughs> <laughs> he looked better than the fucking Jeff Bezos from Amazon. <laughs> With those kind of fucking business tactics, like fucking selling him a 35 and bringing him back for zero. <laughs> half, half the price of his wage. That's obviously going to be a problem, his wage and whatnot. But I, Andy Carroll is available on a free transfer this summer. Mm. So the question is, would you sign Andy Carroll back to Newcastle United? And I'll start you off with a big fat yes. And that'll yeah. be controversial because I put it out there when uh, the, news, yeah. the news first broke, the Chronicle were reporting and whatnot that Andy Carroll could be heading back to Tyneside. Yes, I would absolutely take him. I mean, I would agree with you. On his day, again, he is such a handful. He really is. He is, is one of the best in the league. And again, he could get into most top sides. We all know the obvious issue is his fucking fitness. No, oh, I Clearly. Bad. The main thing. I mean, he, and he's got more chance of probably getting on casually than he has playing, signing for a Premier League side. But the main thing, pay as you play. Yeah. If he's not getting many contract offers this summer... Get him on a pay as you play deal, which is very unlikely mm. in this day and age. I understand that. Maybe a half price thing, maybe. Look, Andy, you get 50 grand a week if you play, 25 grand a week if you don't. That kind of thing, because you're never going to get a player being like, mm. oh, I'll, I'll not play. Because yeah, injuries yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. injuries can happen yeah, to anyone. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, they happen a lot more, Andy, than mm. everyone else, unfortunately. But I think anyone that is interested in him has to have that same mentality and I'll wait. Like, Whoever it is, say on that fucking card of Huddersfield, Leeds, whoever want, might we want him. Leeds are going to probably come like, up. They, they, they can't be like, God, oh, Andy will get you 80 grand a week. Ah, uh, nah. He'd be like, nee, brother. Aye. I'll tell you I'm not fit this Fuckin week because right. I can't really be arsed. I know. I've got like, a little knock, but it's not it's, that bad. It's absolute bizarre to, for anyone to think they're going to just give him a, a normal contract. Not after what West Ham have done, because West Ham the, had him on big money. The, they need to kind of take a leaf out of Man United's book and say what an absolute shit show Mike alone made of Newcastle. <laughs> well, because he was on it? Uh, like, Man United, like, he was on it free. Like, obviously, Newcastle didn't want to fucking redo his deal because we thought we'd fucking spent you with 20 uh. million on your wages and you've been on the bench all year. Mm. So, obviously, Man United were like, wait, we'll take you, but we'll pay as you play. Perfect. Like that that's, makes sense. That works for both parties as well because Owen wanted to play for Man United and yeah, Carroll yeah. should want to play for Newcastle. Exactly, that's obviously yeah. what's happened. Who, whoever signs Andy Carroll has to do a pay as you play deal because you cannot spend that much money weekly on a player that you're only really going to get fucking five, six games with. And if his agent does manage to get him a deal, well, like you say, and I could see when you said Leeds there, I thought fucking I'll, I could see that, you know. Yeah. If Leeds say, right, Andy, he has 50, 60 grand a week. He, he, will he, you know what I mean, how many games are you going to uh, play that season? You can like, see him playing less than 10 games a like, fucking season. No, no one else is going to offer him that much money because they're now his reputation. Mm. So if, if we can offer him that kind of deal, I think he would he, I think he would love to come back in Newcastle. I would whatever love the deal. to see him back in Newcastle. Whatever know, the deal, I think he would love to come back in Newcastle would, and would. prove a point. He would. I think we would love to see him back. He's a Geordie. He left because he had to. I think people are a bit bitter about him. 
he left because he had to. He was forced out of the club. He if was, you haven't seen our interview with Kevin Nolan, that's on the Magpie channel as well. Search that on the YouTube. I scrolled down back to October 2018, but he says, you know, remember the story when he was saying like no. I was, I, he was with Kevin Nolan was with Andy. Bearing in mind, Kevin Nolan was the captain at the time, and Andy was flying. He was the next big thing. Money no. Newcastle were doing great, just being promoted. And he'd scored about a month beforehand, the winner at the Emirates against Arsenal. And Kevin was with him at a time and he said, the offers were flying in. And it was like, like 20 million, 20 million 25 came in. million. He 20 million like, came in. They were like, fuck no, I'll tell you. Kevin was like, oh, fuck no. Well, yeah, massive, massive. And obviously, Newcastle's a massive club, your hometown club. But how are Liverpool at the time? Mm. You know, Liverpool were spending money with fun Suarez and whatnot. You know, the way they were aiming to win the league. St. Carroll the, the same day as Suarez. Which the so nearly did win the <laughs> league as well. Obviously, under Brendan Rodgers later on. They had obviously the ambition. They got the European football. You know, you can't really blame Arnie for going there, but it wasn't even Arnie that went there out of his own choice. He was forced to go there because he t- he turned down the twenty million, the twenty five million. Obviously, he actually turned it down because he knew he could take the piss. Yeah. But Arnie was also saying like, I don't want to go. Like I've just I've already broken this team like a year or so ago. I'm really enjoying my football. Newcastle, it's Newcastle, Newcastle hometown club. But we were at a good place there as well. Like we came yeah. up from the championship, and we, obviously a year or two later, we pushed for fifth and getting the Europa League. Like Arnie could probably see that happening. Like. He gets there, it goes up to 25, no, 28, no, 30. And I remember when Kev- Kevin said like it went to 30 million, he was like, why the fuck are they offering 30 million for you? To be fair, I was thinking that th- th- myself. I was watching Sky Sports that day. I think the first offer I would have took, like, I think it was like 20 I, million I, 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 I was like 20 million or something. I was like, fuck no, they've rejected 20 million for Andy Carroll. Our academy fuck project has played, what, 15 Premier League games? just went up and up and up, 25, no, 30. Re- rejected 30 million? Are you mad? I know. And I eventually settled on on uh, 35. I was thinking, fuck it. I couldn't believe we got that much. I was I so know. devastated. But at the time, I was really angry because I thought it was, it was a good deal. He'd went there for the money. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't him. But he probably was going to get like treble his wage. Oh, like Liverpool, easy. Liverpool were going to pay him so much mm-hmm. more. Probably offer him more in terms of winning trophies than Newcastle could have. Hey, you see, about the wages he broke through as an academy graduate, so. You're on pennies there. You look at Marcus Rashford when he broke yeah, through at yeah, Manchester United. Yeah. He was on fucking what a grand a week or something, and then within six months he was on fifty grand a week. You yeah. must just think, what the fuck? And now he's on two hundred <laughs> grand a week two years later. Like that's what happens in football. And he, uh, he broke through out of nowhere, and he, he obviously he's done well in England. Shit, now he's been called upon, and he's scored goals. Uh, yeah, he really has. Yeah, yeah. and he's one when of them players that, he, that when he's on the pitch, he's, he's in form. He's he's fucking dangerous because uh, he's, he's not just an aerial threat people think because he's six foot plus like a Peter Crouch like mm. he's just an aerial threat freak if, show like, if you look at like Hosselu like for me Hosselu you're tall well, actually he's Harry H- Hosselu air, is, is an aerial threat I'm a big fan of Hosselu in the air but with his feet he's dog shit I know Andy Carroll can actually he's an actual baller he's scored some worldies he's, he's man a, overhead he's a, kicks he's a fucking top player Andy Carroll on his day it's overhead just, kicks outside the just, box just when was the last time we actually seen him play him Really well. I can't remember. I don't yeah. even think it was a season. I think it was last season he scored that overhead kick, but I think he just came I back had, from injuries. I, I, had, I had him on that as well. I was he, 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 always, he always comes back and scores a few goals, and you think, oh, he's back, he's back. And then it's like, oh, and he goes off for like the next nine years. And I just appears from <laughs> Apparently, there's that thing in the summer, the pre season tour, where he was balancing the Hopman. <laughs> and he broke his ankle back when he hopped because he was pissed uh, and that obviously comes in he's all on now anyway like, he was a bit of a tit he was a proper hothead in his young days he's a he's a, he's a fucking knobhead like, we'll like the drink we're a bit of a tit yeah. but like how old is he now he's got to be in his late 20s like, he's, know, he's, 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 not, he's not a kid anymore he's been there done that he's had a horrible few years with injuries I think he's probably grown up he's probably mature well, you've got he, just, because he just wants to you, get fit and I think at Newcastle you'll have more ambition to get fit and score goals and be the Andy Carroll that we knew he could have been well I, I mean because you've got, he's got to look at that as well though if, if West Ham aren't offering a new deal he's probably thinking oh, bollocks where's my career going yeah no, no. then if he doesn't the make best it a place hit, for him is Newcastle if he doesn't make it a hit at his next club He's done. done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's absolutely done because if he doesn't, he's like not going to get better than West Ham. People Hammond assume Newcastle. we get a Premier League club. If he, like you see, if he doesn't get a Newcastle, if he doesn't get a, like, a, like a Palace or a, or a Leeds, uh, any of those teams, you know, whoever stays up, Brighton, Cardiff, whatever. If he doesn't get one of those and he doesn't do well, then he's looking at like a mid-table championship team, League maybe like, like yeah, Forest yeah. at best. And then he'll go to like Portsmouth or something. And he'll just keep on dropping. It's just like where's he's like so he, He's got it. We have fucking Mike Williams like <laughs> 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 right, Mike Williamson and fucking Big Andy. Mike Williamson just spraying fucking bars at Andy all day long. <laughs> fucking Lawala Wall still knocking him around. <laughs> But no, I think he's, he's, he's got to make the most of his next chance. And like you see, I'd love to see him back here. And I, I think, think he'd I think love to be back here. I think it would be a good place for him. 
Especially like if for you say his, for like, his career, because I think he, he will have that ambition. Another kind of topic that we've already touched upon is is would you sign Rondon? Because of obviously the link that we mm-hmm. won't sign Rondon because of his age. Yeah. So if that number nine's up for grabs in the summer, imagine how much Arnie would surely want it. I I think he would just want to come up in the outside that much. Yeah, he couldn't give a fuck about the squad number. Take a thirty nine again. Uh, when he I, think, up on. I think the number nine. He just, take the thirty nine again, Andy. He, he couldn't give a fuck. He'd take unlucky number thirteen or fucking Muto. Like just. <laughs> I think he would just want to be back in Newcastle and regain the jolly trust because we kind of have turned on him a little bit. He's he's, he's a local mm. boy. He's one of our own. It's it's sad to see when people like turn on them kind I, of guys. I was surprised that he never scored against. Especially Willie. when he was forced out of the club. I remember when uh, him and Jose Enrique came up here mm. and Enrique ended up in net. Uh, and yeah, then how long would be beat Liverpool in Liverpool for West Ham? He's, he's uh, had his appearances and he's never scored against. Well, that's a surprise. I'm not surprised he's mm-hmm. never fit. <laughs> so yeah. does that answer the question? Of, but, uh, yeah, yeah, could be. Maybe he doesn't want to score because he, he he does love the club. United does. Nice. Like, he's a proper fucking Geordie boy. He loves this club. He's like a Shearer. Mm, he really is. He, that's why everyone was hoping for that. That's that's why everyone was devastated to see him go because uh, back in the day he, the we seen Shearer, we seen nine, Shearer turn down boy. the biggest club in the world in Manchester United mm. to same for Newcastle. Whereas Andy Carroll was already here. Yeah, yeah he left. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That that, but. You kind of compare them for me because Newcastle United at the no, time no, when they're no. saying Shearer broke the world transfer record. Oh, Newcastle aren't. We're challenging win. for titles yeah, in FA Cup yeah. finals that Shearer was a part of uh, that we all were, know we unfortunately that, fucking that gave up. They had ambition. They looked European yeah. and like, league contenders. They weren't the Newcastle now. If you think about Newcastle now turning down Man United for fucking Man, uh, the tune. That'll you think, you think, money. you think, are you off your tits? Aye. But back in 96. Well, close. Well, that, that, it, was a, it, was a, it was a pretty even contest, and especially Aye. being a home club, it was a pretty easy choice for him. He, he, he didn't know how the future was going to pan out. He probably thought he was going to well, compete yeah. in the Champions League and for the league nah, and stuff. Nah, right? the gap that yeah. we had, we should have won the Premier League. We exactly. had two or three FA Cup finals that we should have obviously at least won one. Yeah, yeah. Champions you, League quarter you, semis yeah, you, you, you never know the future that was a that was a good choice for Shearer at that time aye. Newcastle but, if they had won that league and then more money they could have yeah, dominated the league for yeah, years to come yeah, just yeah. wasn't meant to be unfortunately yeah. but yeah. Arnie Carroll the day and now right. um, aye, I'll, I'll finish it off by saying aye, I would say them yep. as long as it's Hopefully a pay as you play deal, deal but yeah. put it this way he's better than Hoslu so Absolutely. even if you're saying Rondon, if you're saying Joe Linton, whoever we're linked with, even if he's got to turn to the bench and you see Arnie Carroll there instead of Hoslu, big bonus for him. Rip. All right. All right. I would definitely take him, but it's got to be on a pay play deal, like the Owen situation at uh, Man United, or a very, very low contract, because right. it depends what other people are going to offer him. I can't see people offering him what he wants, but he can't expect... To get top dollar. I mean, I barely play this season, are you? So now you can it. Mm, I don't know how he's on at West Ham. I, I bet he's on a fucking decent wage. Oh, he'll be on a lovely wage at West yeah. Ham because they were spunking money for fun, and we yeah. still do. Uh, and the likes I, of Sammy and Nasri in that in the free. Yeah. Uh, so I, I, I don't think he will expect a good wage based on his last few years, which is unfortunate. I fucking hate when people get bad injuries. Like it's, it's, mm. it's a shame that we've even got to talk about this. Like, to have someone, imagine an injury free Andy Carroll will be England's. And, uh, we said this with Kevin Nolan as well. Andy Carroll crap. would have been Harry Kane if he didn't have injuries. Uh, Carroll would have been uh, Kane because he's he's just the same type of player. He's tall, he's strong, he's technical, he's got everything that Kane's got. Yeah, uh, I hate when people with pro- good quality end up with a reputation like this. Uh, like say like oh certain teams won't take a chance on you. Because uh, if you if you'd never had an injury in your career, you'd literally be fucking top of the world. You'd be probably still at Liverpool with challenging the Champions League and that. No. Uh, for uh, me, top goals go on that. I know. It's, it's, it's a shame to say. It's a shame that we've even got to discuss this. But uh, it's got to be on a pay as you play deal or a very, very low wage. Like, mm. at least cut his wages by like 75% of what he's on at West Ham. Mm. And I, I don't think he can expect much more. Mm. If he's holding out for like a 50, 60 grand deal a week, nah, good luck with that one. Give now, but that, like, we're fat tits in charge. I know. We'll but get this, we're going to take our, anyway. our office days, but I, you should have to. It's gonna have to wait for both parties. He's gonna have to. He's gonna have to take a chunk. We're gonna have to take a chunk. But let me know. Would you sign Danny Carroll? And uh, do you think we'll sign him? And I. That'll do. Aye. More transfer talk coming up. It's oh, on this the summer. way. It's on the beginning. Woo! Enjoy yourself. <laughs>